Hello to all you good people, you're watching Crypto TV, world's first 24-7 streaming crypto channel. I'm Vinita Chatterjee, leading you into the world of digital currencies, and here are the top trending stories. RBI has started work for phased implementation of CBDC, says Pankaj Chaudhary. Cryptocurrencies advance on smaller Fed rate hike hope. Bitcoin may test $24,000. UK regulators to introduce rules for stablecoins in new markets bill. Polygon launches ZK EVM scaling solution for Web3 adoption. Crypto exchange Gemini access 7% of its staff in second wave of layoffs. Zipmex suspends withdrawals amid denials of financial trouble talks. U.S. law enforcement recovers $500,000 in ransomware payments to North Korean hackers. Maruti Suzuki ventures into the metaverse to lure young consumers. Now let's deep dive into the world of stories in our first trending story. In a written reply in the Rajya Sabha today, Minister of State for Finance, Pangat Chaudhary said that the Reserve Bank of India has started work for phased implementation of the central bank digital currency, also known as CBDC, for the wholesale and retail segments. The introduction of CBDC was announced in the Union Budget 2022-23 by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. Chaudhary went on to clarify that no proposal to exempt cryptocurrency from taxes is under consideration. He added that the RBI is regularly cautioning users and traders about the potential economic, financial and security-related risks associated with cryptocurrencies. India's official digital currency is likely to debut by early 2023 which will mirror any of the currently available private company-operated electronic wallets. The CBDC will be a sovereign-backed digital currency. Cryptocurrencies gathered momentum with the digital assets market capitalization reclaiming 1 trillion mark on Wednesday, amid growing hopes that the Federal Reserve was unlikely to hike rates aggressively as anticipated given the state of the economy. Bitcoin was set to cross $24,000. For most of this year, the Fed has been raising interest rates to tamp down inflation, running at its fastest pace in four decades. And the expectation of higher borrowing costs have been pushing down valuations for risky assets from stocks to cryptocurrencies. The rally in cryptocurrency was also helped by short squeeze after prices rose sharply weakness in the dollar and stable U.S. stocks. The dollar index, which measures the strength of the greenback against a basket of currencies, fell to a two-week low on uncertain economic outlook and ahead of the European Central Bank's rate decision on Thursday. Crypto investors, however, remain cautious, despite the recent vigor creeping into the market against the backdrop of defaults and halting of withdrawals by crypto exchanges. Investors were seen booking profit at every rally to avoid losses, especially given the fact that the Bitcoin price is still just a third of its all-time high price of $69,000 seen in late 2021. Bitcoin was recently seen trading at around $23,870, up nearly 8% in the past 24 hours. Ether, the second biggest cryptocurrency, was seen trading at around $1,600, up over 3% in a similar time span. All other major altcoins too traded higher. On July 20th, regulators in the United Kingdom will present rules for using stablecoins as the payment tools to the country's parliament. The rules were part of a long-awaited financial services and markets bill, which will be presented to Parliament in the coming hours and aims to strengthen the United Kingdom's financial system post-Brexit. The United Kingdom Treasury, the government's finance arm, announced a series of initiatives in April to help the country become a global crypto hub. 
the announcement promised new rules that would allow consumers to use stablecoins with confidence. The collapse of the $18 billion stablecoin TerraUSD in May prompted the Bank of England, the United Kingdom's central bank, to publish a consultation on its plans to regulate similar crypto assets. And the bank proposed giving the bank the authority to appoint administrators to oversee insolvency procedures for failed stablecoin issuers. Nadeem Zahavi, the recently appointed finance minister, explained the new bill during his first speech as finance minister on 19th of July, saying it reinforces the UK's position as a leading centre for technology as we safely adopt crypto assets. Leading Ethereum scaling network Polygon has launched its Zero Knowledge Ethereum Virtual Machine, or Polygon ZK EVM a new Ethereum equivalent scaling solution based on zero-knowledge ZK proofs. The ZK proofs technology batches transactions in groups before communicating the information to the Ethereum blockchain as a single transaction request. The gas fee for a single transaction is then shared among the participants, thus significantly reducing the transaction fee to the barest minimum. The scaling solution was developed to solve the underlying blockchain trilemma – decentralization, scalability, and security. Polygon believes solving these issues with the help to promote the adoption of Web3 technology. Polygon's co-founder, Mihailo Bacelik, noted that Polygon's ZK EVM is a breakthrough in the cryptographic research that empowers developers to build the future of Web3 that fully benefits the Ethereum ecosystem. Gemini, the cryptocurrency exchange owned by Winklevoss Twins, has laid off 7% of its current workforce, with 68 employees leaving the company. However, the extent of the layoff plan could be even bigger, with leaked documents pointing out that the company might fire more of its staff to reach a workforce number of 800 employees, implying that 150 more employees could be laid off to reach this goal. The company had 950 employees at the moment of the leak. This is set of measures that would be the result of the extreme cost-cutting policies applied by the company. This is not the first time that Gemini has laid off employees during this market downturn. Less than two months ago, the company announced its first wave of layoffs that cut 10% of its employees out of the company. Thailand-based cryptocurrency exchange Zipmex has halted the withdrawals on its platform owing to a combination of circumstances beyond its control. The move to suspend withdrawal comes after crypto exchange Coinbase's failed attempt to acquire Zipmex, which has compliant operations in Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore and Australia. Coinbase made an offer to acquire the Thai cryptocurrency exchange Zipmex in early first quarter of 2022. However, the acquisition fell through on June 9, and instead, Coinbase made a strategic investment into the company. The amount has not been disclosed. Marcus Lee, CEO and co-founder of Zipmex, had earlier said, while Coinbase was an interesting partner, an investor made more sense. He explained that the US group speaks to a number of different parties at any point in time, citing the bear market as the reason why Coinbase opted out of the acquisition. Well, those were the top trending stories of this hour. Keep watching Crypto TV, world's first 24-7 streaming crypto channel. I'm Vinita Chatterjee, signing off.